Welcome back to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a cocktail called the Monte Casino. Now, this is an equal measures cocktail that falls right between the last word and the final word. And you know what? It sounds really, really good. It's going to be herbaceous, and it's going to be boozy. But to give you a little bit of history, now, when I said this was one of those combinations, it comes about because the creator of this Damon Dyer, who was a bartender at Louis 649 in New York, entered a competition for the 500th anniversary of Dom Benedictine Liqueur. And he created this cocktail called the Monte Casino. And he named it after the mountain where there's an abbey which is famous for two things. A, it's the birthplace of the Benedictine Order, which was created by St. Benedictine of Nursia in and about 529. The other thing is that abbey is the world's oldest monastic brewery. And it only actually shut down its uh, uh, brewing once, and that was during World War II when it was leveled. However, it was rebuilt in 1964, and in 2017, they restarted brewing beer. But not it's neither here nor there. We're here about the cocktail, so let's get into it. Now, I did say that this was an equal parts cocktail, and there's only four ingredients to that, which is great because I don't want to have to do a lot of work, and neither do you for a really good cocktail. But it is a shaken cocktail, so grab your shaking glass and put that off to the side. Because what we're going to do is we're going to start with our lemon. And what you want to do is just chop the ends off to make it much easier to squeeze. Cut it in half like so. And what we're going to do is, besides throwing bits of lemon all over the place, is squeeze out three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters. Now, what we're going to add is an American rye whiskey. And I'm using Rittenhouse, which is 100 proof or 50%. And this is a nice strong whiskey that will actually work to balance out the sweetness of the uh, Dom Benedictine. But we're going to use the same three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters. Next, we're going to use some chartreuse. Now, in the final word and the final ward, you'll see, sorry, last word and final ward, to be specific, you're going to find a green chartreuse. However, for this, we're going to use yellow chartreuse. And I really, really have to thank one of my viewers, Jacques. He managed to get me this bottle because I cannot get it locally where I live. And you know, I really, really want to try it. Again, we're going to use the same amount. We're going to use three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters. This is gonna be great. I can just tell by the ingredients, it smells so good. However, now what we're going to use is our Dom Benedictine. And coincidentally, Dom Benedictine, the liqueur itself, was created in 1510 by Dom Bernardo Vincelli. And he was an abbey or an abbot at the Fercant Abbey in Normandy at the time. Again, we're going to use three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils. As I said earlier, this is a sweeter liqueur. It's herbal in nature and it's fantastic. And it goes so well with many other uh, liqueurs and spirits. So what we're going to do now is we're going to fill this with some ice and we'll shake this solidly for a good 10 to 15 seconds. Make sure you've got a good seal on there. Give it a flip and shake it with a smile. Yeah. Pop that off with the strength of a thousand monks. Because you know they're pretty strong. They built abbeys and stuff. Anyways, what we're going to do is serve this in a nice coupe. Because it's fancy, it's going to look good. And what we're going to use is a fine strainer and your Hawthorne strainer to keep out any of the ice chunks and lemon pulp. Oh yeah, this is gorgeous. Now what we're going to do is just put a little lemon twist on here like so. Looks fantastic, let's give it a try. So this actually smells slight hints of lemon, a little bit of whiskey, and you get that sweet herbal note off the top. Oh, that is so good. Oh, so good. The lemon is there, the chartreuse and the Dom Benedictine 
really blend well together with both the herb herb herbal her and herbaceous notes, all those fancy words. The whiskey ties it together with the lemon, absolutely fantastic, and the Dom Benedictine sweetens it and levels it perfectly for these ingredients. Now, um, as I was saying earlier, this is a bit more of a boozy drink, so if you're looking at a one to 10 in a class of boozy, you're gonna get about an eight. So you know what? Fantastic, what I'll do is I'll put the ingredients and the method of how to make this down in the description for you. And if this is your first time on my channel, please hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time I make up a new video, you will be notified. You have a fantastic day.